Welcome to today's 11 by 14 inch canvas tutorial. I think this one is super fun and I hope you will agree. If you want to use the same papers and stencils I'm using, you can click on the PayHip link below to purchase my digital download files. This will give you instant access to my supply and instruction sheet, printable collage papers, stencil SVG cut files, and my print for hand cut tracing and transfer files. But feel free to use any stencils you already have, or you could paint or draw on your own designs. So let's get started. I'm mixing up some of my dark green and my golden sunset with my popsicle stick. And then I'm gonna just use my chip brush to put the paint all over. Then I'm gonna dab in a little bit more of my golden sunset. And then I'm going to use a wadded up paper, paper, plastic baggie, and just tap all over to kind of mix and meld those colors. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water to my modeling paste just to make it really smooth and creamy like a frosting. And I'm gonna take my dauber, which is a clothespin and a makeup sponge with about a half inch sticking out the top. And I'm going to stencil on through my, what I call leather tooling design stencil here. And uh, so it's gonna give me some nice little background texture. Going to mark the edge of my horse head, line it up where I want it, and go all around. This is just going to give me a nice little guide for my stenciling. Now I'm lining up my stencil where I want it keeping in mind where my horse's head is and I'm going to get in there and get some of my modeling paste, tap it off into another spot to make sure I don't have too much. I'm not trying to get a perfect image transfer here, but I want it to be pretty good. Now you're going to see I got a little carried away, having fun stenciling, not paying attention to my pencil line. So now I'm gonna have to go in with a baby wipe and remove up to that line. Now I'm gonna move over to the left where everything's dry and continue stenciling on my modeling paste. I wanna make sure that my flowers are not per perfectly lined horizontally. So I'm kind of moving my stencil around a little bit so they don't line up perfectly. Same thing down here under his neck. This modeling paste is really good stuff and um, it this is a thinner application so like it will dry very quickly. So up ahead here, I'm gonna use my heat tool to dry it so that I can go in and fill in the other sections. Uh, when I do a thick application of it, sometimes I let it dry for, uh, for a, a couple of hours or maybe even overnight if it's really, really thick. But it's, it's good stuff. Now I'm gonna jump in and fill in those other spots. I'm taking my collage papers and tearing them in half and then into quarters. And then I'm going to separate them out because I want to do three different colors of brown for my collaging, which I'm mixing up here, adding it into a little dark gray and red into one. And well, you'll see what I do here. I'm applying some water to my paper first. 
And then I'm gonna go in and apply my paint. I want it to be a thin coat, and I'm gonna do one color at a time, but I'm not gonna change out my water. I'm not trying to be too careful. They're all in the same family, so. Now I'm working on wax paper because I like to be able to move this to another part of my studio and let it dry while I'm on to the next thing. Uh, but first I'm going to grab a baby wipe and I'm going to go over it and just tap all over and remove some of the paint. Even things out and um, I also like the texture that it gives. I don't want brush strokes on these. Got my next set of papers and I'm going through and going to put on the next color. I'm now doing my last set with the darkest brown. I misspoke. I still had my black to do. <laughs> okay, this is where I finish up the papers. While my papers are drying, I'm adding a little bit of watered down cobalt to my flowers and then just dabbing on top of it. I just want a light bit showing through. I want some of the white from my modeling paste showing through. So I'm just gonna dab and add and dab until I'm happy with it. Then I take a little bit of my green and go in, go back and forth with the blue and the green until I get it just like I want it. Just having fun, playing around. I've got my main stencil and my fine point marker and I'm going in and drawing in all my edges so that I know where my main's gonna be. And my ears and all that. I'm going to tear my papers into similar sizes and then I'm gonna start decoupaging them on. Now I'm going in with my Mod Podge that is watered down just a little bit and I'm starting to do my collage. I like to start with my edges first. It just goes a little bit easier for me because I have to, you know, you have to focus a little better, I think, than you do when you're doing the interior, but that's just how I do it. I'm trying to make sure that I use different colors so that I've got a good mix going on. Now this is a long process. Uh, so I did this in a few, over a couple of days, I think. I got it started and then, um, I, that's why I like to just put a little bit of Mod Podge out at a time. Okay, so my guy's coming along here. Got the ears done, the nose, and I'm just gonna finish his neck. Finishing up the neck and then I'm going to go in with my stencil and my black liner pen and touch up my mane. And then I'm going to start on my mane with the black, but I'm trying to tear little thin papers so they look more like hair. 
<laughs> Starting on top of his head, working my way down. I'm going to put a coat of Mod Podge over the whole canvas. And then I'm going to take a couple of baby wipes, like I almost always do, and tap all over to make my texture all the same, no brush strokes, and evens everything out nicely. And then it'll dry a little bit faster. I've got my face stencil lined up and I'm coming in now with my modeling paste to put the blaze and the eyes and the nostrils in. I want this to be super thick. I'm not worried too much about the texture of it. I want it to be somewhat smooth, but I want it to be super thick. Now, because I have a lot of paste on here, as you're gonna see, I'm a little bit goop where it's very thin right there. So I'm not gonna freak out about that. I'll be able to fix it as I go. You see how the edges kind of raise as I hold it up there? We're gonna work on all of that here in a minute. Now that my modeling paste is dry, I'm going to go in with my fingers and pinch off some of the really high edges. And then I'm going to come in with my sandpaper and gently uh, do a little work to sand this out. But I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to mess up my, my collage underneath. I have a little bit of lead way because of the Mod Podge covering. So I'm not freaking out about it, but I'm being careful. Now I'm going to make a couple of different colors of brown so that I can go in and every once in a while where you see some of those white edges when I tore the paper, I'm going to go just in with my liner brush and touch up some of those places so it, that white is not showing. And I'm going to do that with the brown and the mane. Now it's time to start painting my modeling paste eyes, giving some more definition. I'm going to go in and really get those raised edges. I'm adding a little off-white to the eyes to give them a little bit more detail and then I'm going to line up my stencil and take my brown and put the inner shadow of the ears in. Now I'm going to go in with my brown and just put a little bit more de definition there on the side of his face, his cheek if you will and uh, smush it with my fingers and just trying to give a little bit more definition here and there to make him look a little bit more realistic. I want to add just a little bit of cobalt to his eyes just to so they're not all just black. And then I'm just going to go through to 
do a little painting here and there to give a little bit more definition. A little more wispiness like the horse's mane would be maybe. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're interested in purchasing my stencil cut files and printables, you can click on the PayHip link below the video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. I'd also love to hear from you if you want to leave me a comment. If you hit the bell button, YouTube will notify you each time I add a new video. Until next time.